Okay. If you can see the screen, I'm going to start here. I want to tell you something about Steve Clare. <clears throat> the book that he put together, he put together in 17 days. I told you that all the photographers and reporters uh, do this pro bono. They do get press passes and they get free food, but uh, they put in lots and lots of hours. Steve has floated the boat on the publishing of this book, so I really, really appreciate you buying the book. Uh, we don't want him to go belly up on this project, and I think today we cracked the, uh, we, we broke it. So he's, he's in the black, and we want that to continue. <clears throat> Uh, this book, book wouldn't have happened if it hadn't been for Steve. So, all right, George, click it. <laughs> well, you can see where that's being shot. <laughs> that uh, smelly place up north. <laughs> Next one. Yeah. The only other guy to do that was Alan Gordon, and uh, he sawed a slab off. I was really hoping Adi would do that. Well, that pretty much says it all. I love the fact that the children come on the field. To me, that's uh, incredible. Hey! I know that guy. <laughs> that's beautiful. Who said Bruce Campbell? Yeah, that's my guy. has got heart, big time. Yeah. Yeah. National team. Yep. Man's got skills. <laughs> Mad skills. I pray that people will stop kicking the crap out of him. Love it. I should uh, just Corbin tell Giants you that uh, there's some T-shirts that have been printed, yeah. and uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we just happen to have one. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Keep Portland beard. Yeah. Go Chris, go. There we go. That's what it's all about right there. Can you imagine hearing about getting a slab off the log when you're a kid and then coming to the team and standing in front of the army? I can tell you, I stood in front of the army. It's powerful. It's very powerful. It's emotional. A lot, of you, a lot of you have seen tears in my eyes before, for sure. Well, it's, it's a place of healing. It's a place of love. I love the Timbers Army, and I love the way they've embraced these players. You see, uh, what, three players there? Four. And, uh, and uh, Mike Tosh is gone, you know? Uh, I always say, once a Timber, always a Timber, you know? These guys are always welcome back here, and uh, we thank them for their contributions. <laughs> if you don't buy the book for any other reason, you should buy it for this chapter. Great story about Sunday. Courageous gal, and she's one of a kind for sure. We love her very much. Okay, next slide. Well, <laughs> guess what happens there? He scores a brace. Well, a lot of people were calling for his head. Guess what? Not going to happen. And I, I thank God that he went to a 4 3 3. We can all start crying now. <laughs> we did send uh, Diafania a box of books. Oh, he autographed them and he's distributing them. Right? Is that correct, Steve? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, we sent him some books, he's autographing them. They are going, they are going to 
get tutorial on, and they will be autographed. Okay. Even if it bankrupts, we, we will get them. Yeah, we had uh, we had some some mailing glitches, and uh, you know. By the way, don't send anything to Canada by UPS. <laughs> Holy moly! Cost three times the book cost of the book. Anyway, or at least twice. There we go. What a great addition, huh? Yeah. We're, we're, we're gonna we're gonna get some goals out of that guy. Yeah. In, in Oregon, we call that cheating. <laughs> yeah, well, we overcome it though. And, uh, we, you know, we can also beat three grass too. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh! oh! I gotta tell you, that's probably one of the biggest honors of my life, and I thank Joey very much for including me in that. Uh, I got to solve the slab for Rodney Wallace. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very nice. yeah. I had a great time, and uh, I I really believe that. I think you all know that. Uh, spread the love is is an ethos that I believe in. I think that it, it is well invested in the Timbers Army. All the things that the Timber Ar Timbers Army does is amazing. But the thing that I really like most about the Timbers Army, if you bring somebody that's never been to a soccer match and you take them in Section 107, you put a scarf around their neck, you hand them a beer, you teach them the, the chants and the songs that we sing, and they're hooked. I think, I think everybody in this room can attest to that, right? Yeah, we got the sickness. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, training session. <laughs> Thank you, God. Uh, that's pretty much what it's all about for me, you know. I have uh, four grandchildren. They're timber supporters. You know, it's it's uh, all through my family now. Nice shot. Sportsmanship, I love it. You know, good sports, you play them hard, 90 minutes, but everybody that comes from out of town is welcome in our town. Even from the fishing village up north. <laughs> I, look, I hope for the day when we have huge hospitality tents for every away game travelers like we had in Columbus. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Man, did we travel well. It was amazing. Yeah. Same as it ever was. <laughs> Tradition! <laughs> Tradition! <laughs> Joey, is that you or me up there? Looks like a cattail off his butt. <laughs> anyway, we've got some serious tradition here, and, I, and I'm just so proud of this club. Oh, yeah! Well, it was announced uh, two days ago, and I'll just break it to you right now. <clears throat> I've been invited by a TED Talk to do a talk at the Keller Auditorium on April 9th. And what do you think I'm going to talk about? I'm going to talk about love. Yeah, I'm going to talk about love and what it's done in my life and how it's healed me. But this right here, what you see, is coming up in Keller. Wall to wall, treetop tall will be this display. And I'll be walking out on stage with the MLS Cup. So tickets go on sale March the 1st for the TED Talk. 
and I want the Army to be present, so I'm asking you to go. Yeah. I got something to say, probably be a few tears, you know, but uh, I'm honored to be asked. I actually wanted Ashley Homer to go with the Red Sweater Project. I think a lot of you know what I'm doing with that. I'm going to Tanzania. We're going we're gonna to build a farm over there, 18-acre farm. My brother's helping me lay it out. But uh, they said, no, Jim, you don't nominate people for TED Talk. We go out and find them. Uh, damn it. She's dynamic. She's 36 years old. She's been in Tanzania for 12 years, and now she's got a brick-and-mortar school. And uh, I just love her. I told her, no, I'm not going. She asked me to go there and build a, help her do a farm. I said, no, I'm not going there. But I am going there. <laughs> uh, I had her speak. And at a Grange meeting that I was uh, talking to, and uh, holy moly, you know, what they're doing over there is amazing. Uh, so I'm going to be talking about that at my TED Talk a little bit, but let's move on. That dude right there, the nice guy. Wow. And he loves being, he loves his city. Whoa. He loves his city. Great family man. Great ambassador for our club. Oh, wow. Whoops. That's not in the book, but I will tell you a little bit about those guys. Those are the 75ers. Ray Martin in the bottom left. Uh, Graham Day. I can't really see from here. Uh, help me out. Roger, right. Roger, yeah, and then Peter Witt. Peter Witt in the middle left. Yeah. Anyway, next slide. Let's see if we still. Oh! <laughs> yeah, that guy. Wait, we know that guy too. Yeah, I was really proud to wear that shirt that night, and that was a celebration night. And uh, Clyde Charles has left his imprint on this community. You know, a lot of other guys too, Jimmy Conway as well. But uh, I was proud to honor him and uh, you know, what he's done at UP <coughs> University of Portland soccer. It's unbelievable. Okay. Soccer City. Soccer yeah, City, USA. Soccer City, USA. <laughs> nice slide. <laughs> Ridgewell's the diplomat. <laughs> the ref has no That's idea what he's right. saying. <laughs> oh, let's go do the Richie roll. I learned something this year, you know, I've been around soccer for quite a while, and I've never understood how you can weave somebody into our community and they, we fall in love with them, and, you know, Perkins, you know, I, I just go on and on, and then how they can just summarily let go. I learned this year that a lot of times it's an opportunity for Rodney, for Viafania, for Rudy, you know, they've got an opportunity for their family to make some cash. I get it. You know, what we had this last year, it's special. Yeah. You know? So I'm going to savor it, you know, and this book has got it in it. And uh, I thank you, Steve, for doing that. Okay, next slide. <laughs> it's a party in Portland. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Man, that everybody loves to hate. Look what he did. Look at the team he put together. I saw Gavin in the lobby of the Sheridan Hotel in Columbus. I went up and I held his face in my hands and I kissed him on his cheek. <laughs> and tears started streaming down his face. You know, uh, that takes a lot of courage. It takes as much. Uh, Flack as he has, you know, and now I get it. Like I said, he's trying to build a championship team. It's a rough business, rough. The players, it's an honor to play here in Portland. So, Gavin is, uh, 
He did it. He made it happen. <laughs> That's beautiful right there. Yeah. There's the yeah. man. Yeah. <laughs> Really dinky on it. <laughs> I got to give out a shout to my, to my good buddy Spider back there. Hold up your hand, Spidey. I called up, I called up Spider and I said, that, "Well, first I called Joey and I said, would it be okay if I took the log out there?'" And he goes, "Hell yeah, I'll do it." And uh, I said, "Well, I'll go through channels, so I'll call. I call Ken Puckett. I don't care." <laughs> And uh, so I, I consider that as an approval. And, uh, so I called up Spider. I said, want to take a road trip? He goes, hell yeah, I want to take a road trip. Let's go. So we were going to drive the, going to drive that log back in the back of a pickup truck. It would have looked a lot bigger in the back of a pickup truck. And we would have had fun doing it. But <clears throat> got a call. Hey, guess what? Locke's going to Columbus. <laughs> Joey called me back. <laughs> Just before Steve Claire was ready to push the print button on uh, on the story on post, he had to change that all around. <laughs> next time. And then, the next thing to go to Columbus yeah. was the epic, the yeah. big ass drum. Right there was a project to get to Columbus, let me tell you. Everywhere we go, everywhere we go, who we are, who we are, so we tell them, so we tell them, We had a wedding. <laughs> We've had lots of weddings at Providence Park, but that was that was beautiful. And then Hell on the cut. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of Ohioans cry. <laughs> Fuck Ohio. <laughs> Man, did we represent? I mean, I, we took up the entire. I guess it'd be South End. Yeah, it was crazy fun. <laughs> there was a party in Portland, too. Yeah. At the Crystal Ballroom. I was there. We were at Iconic. Rose and Thistle, there was a Blair too. Yeah. Revolution Hall. Yeah, it is. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> there they are. Nice. Where's the girl with the middle finger? see anything like that. That was crazy fun. Uh, the streets were packed. Yeah. And then they left me in the dust. I was back there in the fire truck. <laughs> 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 That's right, right. That's wrong. I mean, they're, uh, next thing I know, they're four blocks ahead of me. I'm just waving the flag. Yeah. 
Bad away, bad away, bad away. Bad away, bad away, bad away. A tikka tikka boom. A tikka tikka boom. A tikka Oh my god, that is so awesome. I'm pretty sure that's going to be part of our chance from now on. Yeah. And then how many have seen the uh, the Portland, uh, the, the Timbers, Hallelujah Chorus? Yes. Oh, yes. That, whoa, I want to do that so bad. I want to do that so bad. I don't know how you can get a violin, uh, you know, orchestra on on the capital stand, but man, I want to do that. <laughs> I hope that's not the last slab I ever cut. Yeah. That was some serious fun. Yeah. Look at that, MLS Cup champions. It's for real. The magic is real. And that's what it looked like from the other side, huh? Wow. Yeah. Good times. Okay. So we're going to go out there, and this is in the book. And this will be my last word to you today. We're going to take a tour. We'll be going out this back door over here. We've got some shovels off the left for anybody, for you kids that want to plant trees. We've got a spot over there. Wrap up, it's probably raining out there. Patch, would you like to come up here? Yeah. Yeah. Woo! I did. I've been unsuccessful getting through this for a lot of years. It's very, very emotional for me. There's a lot of meaning in this. It was originally called the Irish Wedding Wish, but I stole it. <laughs> and good art is like. That's right. <laughs> and uh, so my buddy Pat here has, has taken over the responsibility of reciting this. And we're going to do it outside, too. It's called The Blessing of the Log. Thanks, Jim. Yeah. All right. There's really only, there's no real need to build up on what anything that Jim just said, so uh, just follow along on the screen there and uh, repeat after me. May your home be strong of beam, firm of wall and rafter, built with timbers from a dream, girded well with laughter. <laughs> Keep you guessing. <laughs> okay, well, how about, are we going to reenact the next phrase? <laughs> I'll leave that to you, Jim. <laughs> May your home have a winding stair with a lover's landing, windows to let in fresh air with the light of understanding. May your home have a roof of faith for every change of weather. And love upon your hearth to warm your years forever. Go Timbers. Go Timbers. Woo! Thank you. Thank you. This is awesome. So we'll file out. We'll go on the tour. If you're not done eating, don't rush it. Yeah.